In this video we're going to take a look at my custom Marvel Legends Captain America shield. Thanks very much for tuning in and in this video we're going to take a look at how I repainted this Captain America shield to look like this. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. So originally my shield started off as the Captain America Winter Soldier blue and blue version. Now you're probably asking why did I go through the effort of repainting them when Marvel Legends have released so many versions of the red, silver and blue version. Well it's because this one was picked up really cheap at a store here in the UK called Game, similar to GameStop in America. And they were selling these things off ridiculously cheap so this actually retailed at $29.99 which is a stupidly low price. However, I have not got a Captain America shield, so all of the releases that have come previously, uh, I did miss out on, and they do go for quite a bit of money now, so I didn't really want to pay a stupid amount of money for a Captain America shield when I could just pick this one up for £30 and repaint it myself. Yes, there is a re-release of the Falcon and Witness Soldier version, but the shield in itself is slightly different, with the main difference being the, the extra line in the silver. So I thought, let me grab this one and I'll repaint it. Let me just show you the process I went through. Okay, so the first thing that I did was get some masking tape and cut it into very small kind of rectangles and just start working my way around on the bits that I wanted to keep the color that they were. So obviously the inside with the, the blue and the star, and the silver on the inner ring. So I just worked my way around just putting one piece over another uh, like you would with any paint job um, because I didn't want to get any of the red paint through any of the cracks so I was really quite thorough with this and just made sure and kept going back over it and making sure that all the gaps were covered over and it was nice. Now what I did is I overlapped it one after another so that when I take it off it will come off in one nice big piece hopefully. I just carried on and took me about an hour and a half to do it all properly uh, just making sure that I folded it over any kind of lip of the silver so that we were covering up any bit of the silver that was exposed so that it didn't leak at all so yeah there we go that's how it looked there's actually something really therapeutic about doing it now I've got two paints I've got like a candy apple red and a primer uh, like a primer undercoat and I've got a gloss red as well just to see how that works I put the primer on first because I wanted the red to be as good as it could be. So the primer went on really nice and easy. Um, I did a couple of coats just to make sure that there was no none of the blue kind of seeping through. And I just kind of just went to town on it. One other thing that I did do that I haven't documented is underneath where the straps are, it kind of held it up a little bit. So I made sure I put tape over the straps so that where you can see there's a bit of a lip there from the card that I'm spraying it on any paint that did seep underneath wouldn't actually go onto any of the straps so I made sure that that was all covered so I just worked my way around the shield just covering it with primer as I went and then the end result looked a little bit like this and I was really tempted to take the paper paint uh, the uh, tape off at this point just to see what it looked like but nope let's go straight in with the red so this is it this is just a cheap uh, red I think it's about 5 dollars for this red um, let's see how it actually looks Oh, there you go, that is perfect. The perfect colour. Um, and I just worked my way onto it. Now, because I've put the undercoat on, the colour's really vibrant. Uh, I just had to make sure that it was all evenly distributed because we don't want any kind of dark grey patches. So, just carried on working my way around the same way that I did with the primer, just spraying it on. And I was just going all over it. I wasn't worried about the tape because I know that that will protect the shield underneath. So, really just painting the whole thing red um, and there we go that's the final look one other thing that I did do that I've not shown is I've got a clear coat like a lacquer as well and once this paint was dry I sprayed the lacquer on just so that it kind of took a little bit of the sheen off of it so here we go let's do the big reveal there we go it's coming off in one piece and as you can say, see it's pretty neat the lines there's a couple of little uh, bits of tape that have ripped there but I can go back and take those off that's not a problem there we go pretty much in one big piece uh, I'm gonna have, a, I have to pick those off bit, there's bits off individually but that's not a problem so just pull that off like that as you can see the lines are nice and sharp and any that is overlapping um, I just need to go back and kind of pick those off that's the first layer so let's move into the middle and the middle I kind of went a bit overkill on the middle and put 
more and more tape on so this isn't going to come off as clean if I find the right piece I'm sure I can can pull it away in a sec so let's just get my nail under that bit of paper there and there we go there's a bit more of it so there we go you can see the blue coming out and once again the lines are really nice and sharp um, really nice and clean and there's absolutely no leakage of paint whatsoever so the final thing looks a little bit like this now I do have to go back and just kind of clean up the silver where there's a little bit of stickiness from some of the tape but all in all I'm really pleased with the outcome I think that's a really cool looking shield uh, not too bad for $29.99 so as I said two cans of spray paint some lacquer if you want it and a lot of masking tape and there we go Captain America shield Thank you.